Hello YouTubers, this is Tristan and we are November 11, 2010 and I wanted to make a video response for uh, this week's topic for uh, Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Uh, it is uh, weight loss surgery, would I do it again? So for those who don't know me, I had a gastric bypass uh, August 22nd, 2009. So um, I'm almost uh, 15 months out. I started my uh, Journey, I was 184 pounds, I'm 5'2", and uh, as of today, I'm 94 pounds. I've been, um, that's not what I wanted, to be that that skinny, it's just that uh, that's what happened with the surgery, you know. I had a uh, goal weight of uh, maybe 117, but I kept shedding the pounds without uh, uh, being able to stop it, and that's what happens sometimes. Um, with gastric bypass, but then again, I don't know what the f uh, future uh, uh, wants of me. Uh, I'll see. Maybe uh, after a while, I will gain a little bit of uh, of weight, and uh, we'll see then. You know. Um, so, would I do again a weight loss surgery? Definitely. God only knows how long I had tried to lose the weight and keep it off. It was a losing battle. So most definitely, I would do uh, weight loss surgery again. Uh, I do not regret it. Uh, as for uh, would I choose gastric bypass again? Yes and no. Yes, because I do like the dumping. Like is big word, but I think it's a very good tool for me because my downfall in the past was pasta and carbs, and ever since I had my gastro bypass, it really keeps me in check because I I cannot eat pasta anymore. I dump really badly on pasta, and that's a huge help because. Man, did I ever eat pasta. It must have been an uh, Italian in uh, uh, another life or something. But, you know, it's a good thing. So, um, I've tried it twice. So, I think it's the dumping is a really good incentive for me. Um, I still have to be really careful as what to eat. And I, I think it's good because... At some point, I was too careless with what I was eating, and that was also a downfall for me to be overweight, you know. So, I think that's that's good. Uh, the other side that um, would I still choose the gastro bypass is I... Um, I don't know if if I would have uh, chosen the vertical sleeve, uh, if I would have lost as much weight as today. That's a lot of ifs, you know. Um, and I do remember I uh, have a co-worker, uh, he used to, to tell me, Stan, don't do the gastric bypass, you don't need to... Uh, lose that much weight it's way too drastic you should take the vertical sleep but you know what I'm kind of hard-headed and I wanted to be sure that I would be taking the most drastic surgery to be sure that I would lose the weight but you know it the, the weight loss surgery is not a magic wand you know you still have to Check what you're eating. You've got to take protein shake. Take your vitamins daily or not you will be sick. And me, I need to be really careful uh, not to overdo it in life. Uh, if I'm too tired or if I'm too stressed out, I'm going to lose weight. And I'm 94 pounds. I can't afford to lose uh, weight. So, don't get me wrong. Uh, wrong. I 
I've grown uh, fond of what I look like, you know, yes, I'm pretty skinny, but uh, I think I look good, you know, uh, maybe I would go without the, the extra uh, ribs showing off, uh, and uh, I don't like that we see uh, so much, my, well, you don't, now I want to show it, it doesn't show that much, but trust me, guys, we see all my veins on my, uh, you know, uh, maybe it's because my my arm is up, but we see so much my vein, they're sticking out, and it's a bit, I don't really like it, but I can live with it. Um, there's the, uh, the vertical sleeve, it's just that I wanted to be sure that my stomach was going to be really small after that, and since I was self-paid and I went to Mexico, I didn't know too much um, the size of uh, the pouch that the, the surgeon was doing uh, in Mexico. I know that I'm, I've said to you guys, I'm a registered nurse, I work in the operating room, and when there were uh, bariatric surgeries, I was in the operating room and I was uh, circulating for these surgeries. And I know that uh, the surgeon that would do the vertical sleeve, he was trying to make the pouch as small as possible. He was really good at that. And I think that in the long run, it was pretty much, uh, if he would have done um, my surgery, I would have had, I think, the vertical sleeve. But that was then, and this is now. I've had the, the gastric bypass, and overall, I'm pretty happy. And let's face it, uh, the magic thought of thinking once I have uh, weight loss surgery, I do not have to bother with uh, dieting and I can eat whatever and move on. It's not going to happen, you know. Uh, let's be honest. Um, I don't know. I guess it was uh, wishful thinking, but it's not like that, you know. But I'm pretty good at following um, the vitamin regimen. Um, I still have to really organize my day, my uh, my all that I eat. Always have to calculate what uh, how much uh, protein I'm taking to be sure that I have enough for the day. Uh, take my uh, protein shake. I yeah, that that implies a lot of organization. Organization and well, let's face it, I'm an organized person for for a lot of stuff. So that's okay. It's just that. Uh, the protein shake gets annoying sometimes, but oh well, you know, that's part of the sacrifice. So overall, guys, yes, I would do it again, no doubt about it. And um, as for the lab band, I don't know, I, I, I never was attracted to the lab band. I know that it has worked for a lot of you guys, and that's, that's great. It's just that I wasn't... Uh, uh, it didn't appeal to me, um, so it would have been, at the time, it was, with no doubt, the gastric bypass. As of today, if I could go back and know that I would lose the same amount of weight and being able, as of today, uh, today uh, that I can keep it off, maybe I would consider the vertical sleeve. Eh, you can't change the past, so overall, I give the weight loss surgery a thumbs up guys so um that's it so take care everybody kiss kiss you have yourself a great week bye